everyone. We're going to do 10 problems and we're going to express each sum using summation notation. And they go from hard to, um, from easy to hard. And just notice that um, we have three terms here, a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus dot 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 plus a sub 20. And the dot dot dot's not working. And you should have already done the video with the um, summation notation here. So we're starting with k equals 1, and we're ending with 20. So that's your end. That's, those are your index numbers. And if you notice right here, these match. So here we're just going to have n. And that's all you have to do with that. Or not n, but k, sorry. Put the right k. And that's all you do. So that was the easy one. Now on this one, I'm going to write the summation notation. And this is like <coughs> a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus dot 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 plus a sub uh, n. This is your last term. In this case, what we're doing is we're going from 1 to 8. So this is going to be a sub 8. So we're going from k equals 1 to 8. And all of these are the same, the cubes. So this is just going to be k um, cubed. All right? Next one. We're getting into fractions. So basically, um, if you write this out, this is a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3, plus dot, 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 plus a of, now the ones match up here. So this is going to be a sub 13, because it matches up there. So basically, we're starting with k equals 1. We're going to 13, because these numbers match. And we're going to put k over k plus 1. And a good hint when you're doing this is look at that last term. That will help you out a lot when you're finding your sums. Okay, um, this last one, or it's not the last one, but we have a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4 plus dot 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 plus a of and what do you think we're going to? We're going to 12. Okay, so we're starting with k equals 1. What we're going to do is we're going to look at this last term here. And this is going to um, 12 here. And we're just going to write 2k minus 1. I changed this 12 to a k. Plug in the numbers back in and try it, and you'll see that that works. Because these are like your little k's here. Okay? All right. The next one, again, we're going to be looking a lot at this last term here. So this would be a sub 1 minus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 minus a sub 4 plus dot, dot, dot. And what I notice here is we're ending with 6. So let's see what we can do with this. We're going to write this as the sum. And we're going from k equals 1 to k to 6. We're going to write negative 1 to the k, because that would match if this was a sub 6. And then we're just going to write this as 1 over 3 to the little k. So all I did was look at this last term, and I noticed the patterns. These sixes match, and I wrote it out. If you're unsure, always plug in these index numbers and check back to see if you get your desired result. And we do. Okay, the next one. I'm going to again look at this right here. I'm going to go to k equals 1, and this is 11. If you can't see it, it's 11. 
I'm going to write this last term. You see this oscillating pattern here. And I'm going to write to the k. Then I'm going to write 2 thirds. This is um, 11 plus 1. So this is going to be k plus 1. And this is going to be 2 thirds to the k. Alright. And again, plug in, you know, if you want to set this up, a sub 1 minus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 and so forth, this would be a sub 11. So you can check it out by plugging it in. The main thing I'm looking at is this right here. And that's where I'm ending at. Um, this part, the, the uh, negative 1 to the k plus 1, that's just giving you if it's going to be uh, positive or negative. So it's positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, the next one, I'm going to again look at this last number. I'm going to do my summation notation. I'm going to start with k equals 1, because I can write this as 1, oh, 1, and put this over 1, so I can see the pattern better. So we start with 1, and we're ending at n. And then I just write this um, down with k. So this is 3 to the little k over big K. Okay? And again, you can check it. Um, this one, again, I'm looking at this. And I can go ahead and put a 1 here if you want. And you see the pattern. This is ace of 1, ace of 2, ace of 3. You notice that these numbers all match. So, so we're going to end at ace of n. So you write k equals 1, and we're ending at n, and we're going to write uh, k over e to the little k. Okay, here we have more abstraction thing going on. This is your first term, your second term, your third term, and this is your last term. So the main thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, um, we're starting with k equals 1, we're ending at k, or at n, and I'm just going to copy this down, and instead of n, I'm going to put k. And if you plug in um, the numbers, they will work. Okay. Okay. On this one, uh, what I'm noticing is if I plug in 1 here, um, I don't get this, do I? So what I need to do is start with k equals what? 0. So this should be k equals 0. I mean, ace of 0, ace of 1, ace of 2. Okay? So you, that's always a good idea to check that. And I plugged in one here, I would have gotten the second term, not the first term. And the last one, I'm, again, I'm going to look at this. So, if this is a sub 1 plus a sub 2 um, plus a sub 3 plus dot 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 plus a sub of, uh, n, what I'm going to do is write this as k equals 1, and we're going to n, and I'm just going to write this guy with the k. a times r to the little k minus 1. Now if you plug in your index numbers here into this formula, it will work. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.